The best hit USA. Hi, I'm Cindy Lauper, and this is the best hit USA. Thank you. Open up the show, Cindy. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. And welcome back. Thank Pleasure you. to have you back. Remember, last time you were here, you were a little bit jet lagged and. Uh, Oh, yeah, I just got off the plane. You told you? us all about the, the Hollywood, Hollywood smile. smile, right. And another thing was, while you were here, you were song gay number one, right? Yeah. No, was I here? Yeah, there when was... when you were here, you, uh, I think, yeah, just about the time you were here. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't remember, because it was a while ago. Yeah, but it was mm -hmm. around that time, yeah. How have you been? Oh, I've been great. I've been working a lot, but I've been great. I'm... Uh, I can't believe what's going on here in Japan. I'm having a great time. It's great. Tell us about the second album. Yeah. Uh, True Colors. Didn't you uh, uh, have a sort of uh, what, uh, uh, what they call creative pressure? Because you, your first one was a monster. You know, when the first one became too much of a smash, maybe the record company people may push you, uh, hey, how about uh, using this producer? Or, you know, they... They... Well, no, they basically, when you have a hit, um, then they figure that they have a, uh, you see, every time you have a success, you're given uh, enough freedom mm. to hang yourself, basically. Mm. So, you know, with each success, you have more freedom. When you fail, mm -hmm. then you have all the pressure. There was pressure at first, but then once you get into it, you can't let the pressure get to you because actually... You get so involved with the record that you forget about the pressure because you want to do the record, you know? So uh, then the rest, I guess, is your own torture, you know, because it's part of your creative process, you know? But I had a wonderful time doing the record. I had uh, the pleasure of working with a lot of talented people. Yeah, sure. Really Billy talented Billy Joel, people. a lot of uh, other... Oh, yeah. yeah. Billy Joel, the Bangles. Yeah, Bangles. Uh, Amy Mann. the guitarist. Uh, Oh, Niall Rogers, yeah, yeah he's, uh, he's great. And um, I had uh, Amy Mann uh -huh. and uh, Robert Holmes from Till Tuesday. Right. Have you heard of them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I had um, uh, Adrian Ballou. Adrian Ballou, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. he, he played on the record. And I had, um, uh, well, there's a lot of unsung heroes that people don't know about. Um, there's... Uh, uh, Jimmy Braylauer, Jeff Bova, Peter Wood, those people were the, um, they were the musicians that I used. Those were my basic core of musicians that I really leaned on. But I had, uh, I had used a few of the people from my first record, and then the people that I enjoyed working with on the Goonies thing, I used them. Um, but I had a great time doing it. It really did. Yeah. You know, I enjoyed myself. Press, uh likes to you know search for a trend you know there's this trend and uh, they like to what uh compare like you know uh, they have compared you with madonna and madonna with you you know, oh, I know. Uh, because just about you broke up just about the same time uh well you realize a that. little her first album came out and my first album came out her album she had a couple of hits off of and then she went away and did her record and my yeah. album kept going uh-huh uh -huh. And then when my album kind of went, was going, her new album was coming in. So it was always, it was always me, yeah. her, or yeah. her, me, you mm -hmm. know. And, um, but it, it's, it's always going to happen that people are going to compare you, you know. I think that she took the rag a lot because um, uh, everyone said that, um, you know, that she was very... Uh, sexist orientated or mm. she was very sexy you know i think that it's and, and then they used me you know as a different example and i felt kind of bad that they did that because um they should never have done that to her or to me uh because i think that women should have a sexuality and should be allowed to have a sexuality if a if a male rock star can walk around with pants so tight you don't know how he's going to sit down without hurting himself seriously. I mean, why does a woman, why is a woman not allowed to be a sexual entity? That's not a bad thing, you know. Mm. And um, and I just thought that, that, that she took a lot of grief for that because sometimes, you know, uh, 
it's a really chauvinistic society sometimes, you know, and it's not really just men. It isn't. It's the women. The women ragging other women all the time too, oh, you know. Man. And I was disappointed because I even asked the, the the journalist who was interviewing me, who had interviewed her and said, "Well, you know, rah, 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 she uses sex and all this stuff." And I said, "Okay, fine. Now tell me what's in your record collection. Do you own Prince, a Prince record? Do you own uh, a Rolling Stone record? Uh, do you like those people? You like them for their talent, right?" Do you think they're sexy? Do you think they use sex? Because they certainly do. Mm -hmm. I said, now, they're allowed, right? And she's not, right? Because she's a woman, right? And you're a feminist, right? And they would say, yeah. I said, no, you're not. You're a chauvinist, you know? And I'd explain to them why. And I would say, you know, I was disappointed that they used me to put another woman down. You know, and that was the only thing that I thought was really bad when they were doing one against the other against the other, you know, because that's not fair, you know, because what she does is what she does and what I do is what I do. And there's plenty of room in this world for everybody. You know, it's a big world. Are you thinking of starting a, a, a career in acting? Uh, I possibly? always wanted to, but I haven't found the right property and the right thing for me yet. I want to do it right. I want to have uh -huh. the right script with the right director, and I don't want to settle. You yeah. know. Maybe not the the right kind of people. I mean, uh, with yeah. music and you know. With all these music, activities, I you put have, together yeah, yeah. what I wanted, right. mm -hmm. and it took me longer, but I'm happy. I don't want to do something and not be happy. You know, that's mm -hmm. and and I understand about uh, you know the the business and the field. But I'm still optimist. I think that the right thing will come along for me.